police say for the first time ever, they've used new DNA technology to solve a murder. Tonight, only on WCPO 9 News, the Criminal Investigations Division invites us inside, showing you how this new technology works hand in hand with good old fashioned police work to solve cold cases. WCPO filmed this 20 years ago at the murder scene of Herman Brown. In 2023, the apartment building still stood on Sarvis Court and his killer remained unidentified. That was until Cincinnati police used new technology called forensic genetic genealogy to identify Robert Stewart as a suspect and bring him into custody. Now we can kind of widen our net and um, you know reach out and touch people that have had no other contact with the uh, law enforcement system. A tech first takes a DNA sample from a crime scene and runs it through public genealogy databases like Ancestry to find relatives of suspects. Then the hard work begins for Heather Sadler and Chad Kepi with Cincinnati's real time crime. Unit. Yeah, so it is a puzzle um, and it can be really hard at times. The puzzle is a list of potentially hundreds, if not thousands of names, each one potential relatives of the DNA sample collected at the scene. Each could be the killer. Sadler helps narrow it down. No matter how long it takes, these are his relatives. He exists in the world somewhere. And once the techs have all the pieces in place, old school policing takes over. With the ultimate goal of getting a DNA sample um, to make that one to one comparison and get that 100% match. Smallwood says they've used this technique to solve two sexual assault cold cases and now a 20 year old murder. He says the entire department is dedicated to solving the next one. It is really about that peace of mind knowing that uh, the person that's in the in line next to you at Kroger isn't the person that did something to you 20 years ago. Luckily we're, we're three for three and you know, going forward, we, we hope to keep that 100% uh, closure rate. They will get that chance, thanks to help from a grant from a group called Season of Justice. Police will be using this same technology once again, this time to hopefully solve a sexual assault from 1989. Robert Stewart, meanwhile, now faces felonious assault and murder charges, and if convicted, he could be sentenced to life in prison. Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.